peanut butter and jam. Mix rabbits and rockets. Sort of mix. But kids and alcohol. Don't mix. Let's take a closer look at the cerebellum to see exactly what it does, what alcohol does to it, and what that does to you. The cerebellum is a small, round portion of your brain, which sits at the back, just above your brain stem. If cut in half, it kind of looks like a piece of cauliflower. Ever heard the expression, good things come in small packages? Well, your cerebellum is only about 10% of your brain's weight, yet it holds nearly half of the brain's neurons. You know how you can walk and not fall down? You can thank your cerebellum for that. It controls your coordination to keep you looking cool. The cerebellum also controls your verbal coordination, giving you the ability to speak clearly, so you sound cool too. So what happens to you when the cerebellum is impaired by alcohol? Your motor skills, both physical and verbal, slow down and lose control. This is why people slur their words and fall down from drinking too much. This extends to all voluntary and learned motor controls, from scratching your ear to operating machinery. With an impaired cerebellum, you might not just embarrass yourself, you could get seriously hurt. As a young person with a still developing brain, alcohol can have a stronger effect on you than on adults. Learning the facts can help you make healthy decisions. So say yes to a healthy lifestyle and no to underage drinking. To learn more, visit asklistenlearn.org.